sponsored by the Broadmoor Improvement Association and Market Umbrella. I'm Bethany Mangigian with the Broadmoor Improvement Association. And I'm Paige Gillery with Market Umbrella. And I'm Chef Maya Masterson from the Black Root Culinary Collective. Chef Maya, what are we cooking today? Well, we are cooking a garlic stuffed chuck roast with root vegetables from the Crescent City Farmers Market. All the ingredients found in today's video can be found at the Broadmoor Food Pantry. And if you need help accessing other emergency food, we can also help you enroll in snack benefits. And after you do that, you can visit us at one of our weekly markets where you can participate in our Market Magic program where you can double your snack dollars for fresh fruits and vegetables. Chef Maya, what made you decide to cook this for us today? I feel like this roast is a hearty, warm, feel-good dish for a family of three or four in the wintertime. It'll really fill you up. Let's go. Yeah. A lot of people don't know the proper way to cut an onion. And it's actually quite simple. Cut off the end that does not have the butt. Boop. Leave the butt on. Cut through that side. And then you just want to peel away the skin on the outside. Leaving that butt there. And that butt will act as an anchor to keep the onion together while you're cutting it. So then I'm going to do a couple slits through the onion this way. And since I'm doing big chunks, I'm just gonna turn it around, cut right through that butt, and I have perfect chunks. And that's it. All right, so we're gonna stuff this roast with garlic. And the way to do this is we're gonna cut little slits in there. It's okay to cut it all the way through. I'm just gonna stick some garlic in the holes. Season this roast really good with salt and pepper on both sides. And then once you season one side, you can go ahead and put it into the pan. The salted side down, you wanna make sure that your pan is hot and smoky. If you wanna get a really good sear on there, kinda of push it down and while it's on that one side, you can go ahead and season the other side. So we're looking for a nice brown sear on there. And that takes a few minutes. Yeah. See that nice brown sear we got on there? I'm gonna flip this guy over. I'm gonna sear the other side just the same way that I did the first side. All right. I'm gonna take this out. I'm just gonna Set it on this plate and set it over to the side for now. And while this is still hot, I'm gonna add my onions, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme. Give that a little stir. I'm gonna get some caramelization on these vegetables as well. Now that I got a little bit of color on these vegetables, I'm gonna add my wine, not the whole bottle. About a cup, cup and a half. I'm just gonna let that cook down a little bit. I'm gonna add some beef broth, some Worcestershire sauce, and I'm gonna add an entire box. That's two packages of the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. And then I'm gonna take my seared meat. I'm gonna put it right into this pot. Delicious vegetables and juice. And I'm gonna move some of the veggies to the top of it. You want it to be submerged. Add the potatoes and make sure they're around the meat. And before we put this in the oven, we're going to put a tight lid on it on this Dutch oven. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use a roasting pan. You can cover it with foil. Or if you have like the old Pyrex pans, you can put the lid on it, anything like that. Just make sure that it's closed so it'll cook inside. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about three hours. And then I'm gonna put it on the plate and we're gonna eat.